Hey everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. My name is Bear. Thank you very much for bearing with me in the absence. Ha <laughs> ha! I immediately started with a pun. Okay, we're good now. Everybody's in high spirits, right? That's all it took. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. The game crashed on me when I was just trying to record this episode very recently. So unfortunately, uh, I lost progress for a week. These four in particular, in fact, were the ones that suffered as a result. We got some extra stress on Carteret Savigny. Uh, Stanley and Russell, who are likely going to be my party composition all the same here today. And, uh, more news to share, there's been an update! Unsurprisingly, because I've been away for a long time and the game continued on without me, shockingly enough. Uh, there's a brand new character class that we're hopefully gonna be able to play with near now. Uh, probably not gonna be now, yeah. It might take a week or two in game time for the, uh, new character to show up in the stagecoach. Tends to be the case, you know, the patch doesn't automatically update your available selections in here, so it'll take a little while for that to become available. But luckily, we've got some roster spaces down here, so we could grab a whole new composition just dependent on what the Abomination brings. And there are some interesting quirks to the Abomination class as well. I don't want to get into too much, but I do want to mention that we're going to have to be mindful of who we bring out with him or her, or it, once we, uh, once we acquire the thing. So that'll be all in a different episode. For now, I had a little bit of an interesting decision to make, because I have to decide whether I want to face the sunken crew now, with all the different factors involved with the new patch at play, or I could just go out with a legendary crew, as I had intended to do beforehand, and, uh, just sort of see what new stuff is being introduced by way of the champion enemy changes and the patches to certain trinkets and character classes. I want to go over some, of, some more of that stuff in more detail, hopefully, if we come across the opportunity to talk about it during a normal mission. Plus, of course, we're still making progress on the cove overall if I go into a champion level mission. So I'm probably going to do that, and I'm probably going to bring out this character assortment that I had planned on before. This is going to be Leper, Hellion, Vestal, and Arbalist. Which is not a bad composition, really, uh, pretty standard stuff. Here we got the healer, we got a big damage dealer in the back line, and then we got a couple of tanks up in front, you know. As well as I can describe these character combinations, of course, things tend to sort of go up in the air once you go out. Everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth with... Blight. That's what Mike Tyson would say if he was in Darkest Dungeon. Uh, let's check out our trickets as well. By the way, the astute among you may have noticed that I've made quite a bit of money here. About 46,000 more, in fact. Uh, I sold quite a few of the trinkets that I sort of deemed the extra stuff. The ones that I never really used, the ones, for example, that only impact your moves ch or move skill chance, or only work if you're on death's door. That's that sort of stuff that I never really thought I would be using a lot. So instead, I have uh, sort of reduced it down to not really even necessarily all the ones I use, but ones that I could see myself using. For example, the moon cloak I think might come into play at some point in the future again. Uh, the Grave Robber obvi obviously want to keep these around just in case, you know. They're making changes to trinkets all the time, so even the ones that I've dumped off, I'm sort of hesitant to have done so because there's a chance that they'll be made into something good. But for now, I think I'm pretty happy with the ones I've got this down to. And I think we're all set to go apart from that, and we get into, or we're getting to investigate another small new change here as well once I sort out our trinket selection, which is going to be important, so let's go ahead and do that now. Let's start with our Arbalist here, for example. She's probably going to go for... Well, you know, I could give her that same combo I was giving the Highwayman a couple of times. The Ancestor's Pistol combined with the Musket Ball. She has her the Wrathful Bandana, which I've liked quite a bit. It's a pretty big damage boost. I'd like the accuracy and the crit a little bit more, though. It's kind of a toss-up. I think I'll go, yeah, I think I'll go with Wrathful Bandan Bandana simply because we've got her in the fourth spot. And let's give her the extra crit chance. I like that, too. We'll stick with that. Vestal's gonna go for the Sacred Scroll. I do enjoy having that buff to heal skills. And let's see if she's got anything with her character class specific ones that has changed up at all. The Tome of Holy Healing. Doesn't really seem to be that bad of an option, actually. Yeah, I tell you what, let's go ahead and take this. So she's got a big boost to her healing skills now. That's gonna be pretty incredible. And of course has a couple of offensive options still in the 
in the works. The leper has been changed a little bit again. Uh, it seems to be the class that's getting a lot of attention. And I sort of empathize with that, because I'm not really ever inclined to bring this guy out that much anymore. I think it was Purge that got changed. I couldn't tell you exactly what it was. The patch notes, by the way, should be down in the description if I recall, or if I remember to, uh, to put them there. I'm gonna count on future me to be able to take care of that. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Alright, let's keep going with the trinkets here. We're giving our Leper the Berserk Mask, which is sort of commonplace for this guy. And then, I like the Redemption Armlet, actually. I think this is going to be our move here as well. Another thing spe specific to the rank which the character is in, but I like that little damage boost with very, a very small drawback. Hellion I have not looked at in quite some time. Let's see what you've got. Plus four crit if torch below 25. Hmm... The Bleed Resist is not really even that bad. Double-Edged Pendant is usually okay. Bleed Skill is obviously not going to be what we go with. I doubt that I'm going to be using this. At least not yet. I think I still have to stick with what I know is going to work, which is to say that I want light. I, I don't want to go out in the darkness anymore. Not yet, man. we got to wait a while until I feel that confident about things. Probably not going to give her an Ancestral Trinket. Let's just go ahead and throw some more damage her way. I think I can stand her being the last member of the party to act. Probably not really going to impact things too much. I think that'll do it. And here's that small change I was alluding to. The provisions are now limited. So no longer am I capable of bringing out three full stacks of food. Instead, I have to reduce myself down to two for these medium dungeons. Which is normally what I was doing anyway, but... I sort of like the, uh... The added support that that extra stack of food brought sometimes. So I'm sort of sad that that's the case now, but I understand it. You know, it's a... It's a sort of hindrance that I... That I can attribute to real-life circumstances, you know? The provisioner is not going to be providing endless food, man. They don't call it the dark... They don't call it the lightest dungeon. lost shipments of rarities that we may prevent them from falling into even less scrupulous hands. They don't call it the brightest feast. That's not the name of this game. You better be ready for some hardships, buddy. Cruel machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. Not really many hardships by way of our dungeon layout here, though. We got a pretty straightforward look. We're only going to have to go through, hopefully, not all of it. Poorly constructed sentence there, but you got the general gist of it. Uh, ideally, yeah, we're not going to be exploring every single room another here. Mariner, another misfortune. And I'll be honest with you guys. For all the new content that a patch brings, for all the exciting new stuff and the changes and the controversy about what's good or bad, one thing's for damn sure is that I really love hearing me some new Wayne Jew narration every time. Oh, baby. Seriously, they just give me... Give me a list of patch notes that just says, we made Wayne June record 50 more lines of dialogue. I'll just say, yes, thank you! That's all I was asking. Just keep the game the same, just tell Wayne to come in every other day, and just say what's on his mind. Just record what he had for breakfast. I'll listen to that in the heat of battle. I probably won't even notice. It'll sound like it's commonplace. I had a bowl of kicks. It was healthy and mother approved. It fits right in line with what we're doing here. Not many noteworthy changes, I don't think, at the moment. These guys appear to be pretty standard. Although I'm looking out now for uh, some subtle... Differences. I, I, I'm trying to read through the patch notes and figure out what I should be looking for as far as the enemies are concerned. For the slightest lapse in concentration. They are dealing a shitload of damage, by the way. This is sort of freaking me out how much they're hurting us already. The Seaward Slash, holy crap. Take it easy, buddy. We got a bleed here at least, but they're still just completely unloading. Good God. Stanley's going down. This is insane. And we're not dealing the damage we need either, and our Hellions all the way in the back? What on earth happened? This is a dangerous outlook here. Okay, this is, uh... This is looking bad. She's gonna have to move forward. The Arbalist is unfortunately, yeah, moved out of her 
beneficial spot here in rank four. The speed is starting to freak me out a little bit with these guys too. They're a lot faster than us, my god! And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. Please don't kill Stanley in the first freaking bout of combat. Do you mind taking it easy on us here? I'm just trying to explain what's new. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Holy fuck. Death store recovery, minus two accuracy, minus five percent damage. This is a permanent debuff until we return to the hamlet. Fuck! Oh god! Okay, please land something. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. This is rough, man. That's you, you can't get rid of that. I like it though. I'll tell you what, that's a smart change. That makes sense. That's understandable. We shouldn't get right off of Death's door without any punishment, right? That, sh that should be a permanent debuff. I agree with that. That's cool. But I hate it now. <laughs> in the heat of the moment, it's my worst enemy. But in, but in overall sense, that is pretty neat. Oh, this would be where I would love to have an additional stack of 12 food, but sadly that's not gonna happen. Luckily we did come across quite a bit of extra on the way here, so we're all good. That's a dope-ass trinket, too. I like that. The sly eye patch for the man-at-arms. Not bad. Getting some decent stuff here. Let's pop a couple of food for our Hellion as well. No reason to really fill up our inventory with needless junk and drivel. Pop a couple of torches here, too. This is looking okay. Feel good. I feel good. I should have used some herbs on that. Yep. Absolutely. What a big misplay. Minus 75% bleed resist for our Hellion. You know, that's... That's the sort of stuff that'll just make me cry. Goodbye, benefit of Ancestor's Pen. Hello. Instant regret. The, now, the Death's Door thing I do like, though, that is... I've seen quite a bit of the feedback that the developers get in the, uh, the Steam community threads for most of the updates. I tend to read the patch notes when I can, but obviously miss quite a few things. I miss things in general, so... It applies. It applies across the board. But I really... I, I disagree with the amount of controversy that is generated with every single patch. I can't even re really remember a patch ever that made me think wow this just straight up makes the game worse good job red hook you screwed the pooch no it's never it's never happened for me or maybe i just don't remember it it has been a while but i i feel like in a general sense it's all it's all sort of stemmed from the game getting harder when the patches come which, again, in and of itself is not even necessarily a true thing. Usually it's just a change. An almost lateral change, you know? Like something that couldn't possibly be contrived as a... as an unequivocal... or, sorry, unequivocal... difficulty increase. I think this is gonna be similar to that. Is my overall point, that... I don't think this is... Inherently good or bad. I think there's certainly a lot of things that make sense and we'll look into those more as the next couple of episodes come around I think For the most part though, I've really enjoyed What's happened? But I am now ultimately concerned for my life as this is not really going my way here. Stanley's accuracy Is kind of abysmal and it's not even necessarily because of this minus two of course is making a difference, but oh This is starting to get a little bad we we'll only need to hope for that stun. There we go. Could use the extra torch light as well. He's gonna be the big damage dealer, but I would like to get rid of her as well. The stress is starting to look a little bit cumbersome. How are we doing here? This could kill. Nice. Give them no quarter. Feels good. Our leopard does need to be in the front line. I keep forgetting about that. That's that's something I should consider more too. I do tend to bring the uh 
I do tend to bring out the trinkets that rely on us maintaining position. The enemy crumbles. Maybe I ought to do that less. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Ah, another hell's hairpin, huh? Okay. I mean, it's it's objectively worth more than that, right? So I have to take it. There we go. All right. Uh, it's probably time to probably time to campfire already. Yeah, I, I need to I need to consider these things. You know, a synergy that I haven't given given a lot of thought to until now would be that of the. The trinkets that require you to be in a certain rank, along with the ones that reduce the likelihood that you'll be surprised. Fuck! Stanley, please! You're a legend, buddy! Not anymore! Legends are not hopeless. No hope at all. Oh, buddy, help me out. Give me something. He's gonna mark himself. Okay, well... Tell you what, that's... That's acceptable, maybe. Oh, the hopeless Stanley. All right. I think we gotta start off trying to take down these Tide Masters. These guys are gonna make things hell if I leave them alive. That'll be helpful. Okay. Let's keep it. Keep everyone else in good spirits, if we could. 95 going up against 139. I would love to have a stun buff, but I don't think I do. Yeah. Let me try. Let me go ahead and dazzling light the Tide Master. No, I gotta- I think I gotta give this a coin flip shot, don't I? It's less than a coin flip, but I think it's still worth the effort. Okay. Yep, I think I- I think I try that again in most circumstances. That is a strong attack, though, my god. He gets the double stress wave off! When did that happen? Two targets with that one, okay. Oh, that worries me. Our, oh, our leper has just sort of become worthless now. This is... This is getting kind of sad. The bleed comes through. Still need a little bit more damage, though, so I gotta go for this. We're just gonna have to let him sort of do his thing here. Please allow me to heal you, buddy. Set the stage for heroism or cowardice. It's the only really smart play. I think I gotta move him forward when he takes his stun off. He's not really gonna be effective at all for us no matter what, so I suppose him wasting his turns away is really not that big of a deal. Uh, she's gonna have to mark her target, I think. Allow the leopard to move forward and then get the bonus damage from being back in rank 4 once we fix that up. We've got plenty of bandages. She's also got the adrenaline rush, so she can take care of this herself if she wants, and in fact, I think I'm gonna do that. Getting the damage buff... Plus the accuracy and the cure for the bleed. I like that combo. Alright, his stress is really starting to worry me, although I'm pretty sure that's not going to be a factor anymore in this fight. Let's go ahead and move him forward if he gives me the option to do so. Nope. Alright. Kind of expecting that, I'll be honest. That's sort of what I'm, I'm looking at as maybe not the worst case scenario. Executed. That's good damage, and that's good crit resist or crit that stress reduction as well. Oh boy. Okay. I mean, this is working. I think we we are much worse off as a result of what's happening here, but we are winning. Oh, and good hits too. Okay, what we are landing is working well. Keep this up. Luckily, we're forcing him to heal as a result of that, and now we're still unfortunately reduced to this level of effectiveness. I could Battlefield Bandage here, honestly, and then improve her reception of group heals as well. But I think I'd rather just take the damage on the marked target. Down to 24. Probably not going to be bleeding this guy. Alright. Really not that bad. Good resistance is there, too. Please just let me move you up. That's all I want. Just move fucking forward. Thank you, God. Oh, man. The small victories. Shut up. I have no interest in hearing you talk. You get to move forward again. That's your entire contribution to this beautiful team. More group heals. We've got options. Keep it up. No longer marked, but we're closing in. And if the leper can actually deal some damage here, obviously would be ideal as well. All right. There's a chance her turn doesn't come up. No! There it is. Okay. Never mind. We'll save the bandage again, I guess. I thought... <laughs> I thought we had hope to avoid that arterial bleed, but let's try to counter it instead. Let's go for the... the individual heal. It's still... God! He really loves that move on her. 
It's not gonna work, my friend. She's taken. She's betrothed to combat. And you will never break that bond. You stupid animal. Let's keep... Yeah, let's keep the group heals up. This is weirdly providing me a lot of opportunities to heal around the party, but... Obviously, we don't want to want to want to allow that to last too long. The greater the glory. Holy crap! Okay. Obviously, got to keep the relic in tow. Let's not take either of these. This is a stack of fifty gold I can leave behind, so we need to replace something with the more valuable ruby. And there it is. And now I think we can't fire because holy shit. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. So an obvious choice here is going to be Reflection. We reduce our own stress by 20, boost up his accuracy, which has not been going well at all thus far. Going to definitely do that. Come on, buddy, please! Oh, I needed that one. I needed it. All right. Whatever you're going to do, I don't even care anymore. We'll just struggle through this <laughs> by the end of the day. We'll all be weeping anyway. Let's try to counter the loss of crit chance on her, and maybe even boost her accuracy as well, although I don't really love that as my next move. Stress is still sort of a problem. Field dressing would be nice. You know what? Marching plan. Boost our speed, maybe. How does that sound? Stress reduction across the board. I'm gonna try to bless him. Yes, okay. Maybe not useless anymore. Please... Why did I rest with respite? Oh my god! Alright, that was my bad. That one's my fault. The light. The promise of safety. This is- I'm making this way too difficult on myself. This is not the sort of handicap I need. Holy shit. Okay, empty rooms, please. Please just take pity on a poor kindred spirit. Let's move these guys, shuffle this party back around, make sure we got things sorted out. And we're gonna try to give the least likely recipient of punishment and pain. The, uh, the task of clearing out the hallways. We got an empty room here, don't we? We have the chance of just finding a relic right here inside this hallway. It's not gonna be it, but I will use a shovel on the barnacle-crusted chest. There we go. Not bad. And I'm not gonna fight this hallway battle. I know that I'm gonna be able to, uh, to get to this room right here without going through this way, so let's Let's try to take this the easiest way I can. I gotta look for opportunities to make it easier, man. I gotta... I gotta try to get this to work. Another scout would be very nice. Let's go ahead and actually boost this back up to Radiant Light. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. No scout, unfortunately, but we're still looking okay. A campfire, I mean, it wasn't great, but it really did... Provide us with quite a few benefits, son of a bitch! Mechanical hazards, possessed by evil intent. Oh, her stress is through the roof all of a sudden. 72. I don't want to give him a heart attack either. Okay, please be empty. Please be empty. Thank you. This does not look terrible. Here's the benefit to this. I don't have to go through this hallway. There's the chance that one of these two is going to be a relic I need, but I don't have to go that way yet. We're going to go through here. I know I've got a shovel, I know I've got herbs for this. And that's a good result too. Okay. Pop a couple of food for our Hellion. The Leper luckily is doing a little bit better in that regard. Uh, let's keep the torch light up. He's going to say something stupid. Don't mind him, he's, he's a downer. That negative attitude is... Stuck with him through the hopelessness, man. Don't give his failed resolve check to him as an excuse. He's got to own this negativity. He's got to bury it deep down and never let it show its face again. That's healthy, isn't it? I'm joking. I'm kidding. All right. Got to come face to face with it at some point. Here we go. We surprised him. Ooh. Okay. This is also not at all worrisome, so let's just make this work out properly. Let's start with the big damage. This guy we're going to be leaving alone. He's not stunned, so I got to keep it up. Let's just target them all. The hue would actually be a good option here. 
Nice. All right, one down. We're looking good. Chance to crit. 30%, in fact. I like it. That is the worst possible result. But what else am I expecting? No, come on now. We've got reason to be optimistic. Good things are happening here. Terrible things just happened, but good things overall have been sort of occurring in random places, right? I mean, the Arbalist got shuffled to the position two somehow, but I'm still happy. We can still win, right? Oh, baby! Oh, Roussel has just reinvigorated my desire for victory. We will emerge champions. Yes, we will. Once we take down this maggot. Once we defeat the true enemy, the maggot. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. How do you know? How do you know what I'm saying, you demon? Oh, bummer. The one time I disappointed to find digested fish, but all the same, we found this! Hey, all right! Victory! That'll do! The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Yeah, fuck it, I'll take it. Return to the hamlet. Wow, that was, uh... That was a little demoralizing. <laughs> We are back, and we're alive. I don't think I ran into any of those uh, variant champion enemies, or unfortunately not even really any new enemies at all. That was just some, uh, some good old-fashioned ass-whooping courtesy of legendary Darkest Dungeon champion enemies. You know, all those words that combine to make things that make sense. Scurvy and bulimia. Not often you see those two together, huh? I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. And the letter was on its way. There's your summary, by the way, if you were wondering what happened last time. We tried to uh, collect the abandoned relics, but, uh... Failed Gunner miserably. I don't know. Yeah, this is weird. This is all goofed up. I, I'm not surprised. But, uh, all the same. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, we got... Ooh, let's actually check right now. Oh, yes! There it is! The Abomination. Look at that. Oh my god. You know what? Screw it. Let's look at it right now. Let's just check. Just want to check. I just want to see. I'm going to give you guys, actually, I'm going to give you the chance to look at this. And I'm going to say thank you very much for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. And thank you for your continued support of this series as well. I'm really glad to still be playing this game. It's still a lot of fun. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time, where we will play with The Abomination. See ya!